This is Sabah's newest and largest marine park, established in 2004 to protect the area's spectacular features and rich biodiversity. This is a unique and beautiful place located off the northeast coast of Borneo, but it is also under threat, which is why action is needed to ensure that its special features are not lost. In May 2005, the Marine Conservation Society and Sabah Parks launched a three-year program to promote the conservation of biodiversity and the sustainable use of resources. The emphasis of the program is on community involvement. Over 2,000 people live here, in settlements close to the sea or in the shallow waters of the back reef and reef top. These communities are dependent on the area's natural resources for their livelihoods and day-to-day -day needs, with fishing, seaweed farming and gardening being their most important activities. The seafaring Bajau Laut are nomadic people who live on boats or in temporary houses and they are particularly reliant on marine resources. Much has to be done to ensure that the area's natural resources are used wisely. Everyone needs to work together to make the park a success. The Tun Sakaran Marine Park is about 20 kilometers from Sempurna, on the southeast coast of Sabah and sits on the edge of the Borneo Shelf. There are eight islands altogether and more than 100 kilometers of coral reef. The small outlying islands have beautiful white sand beaches and coconut palms. But the central high islands are a complete contrast, with their steep peaks reaching nearly 450 meters above sea level. Thousands of years ago, these cliffs marked the rim of an active volcano. Then, over time, Rising sea levels turned them into islands and the crater was transformed into a 30 meter deep lagoon. Rich soils have built up on the island slopes, enabling vegetation to thrive. Trees up to 40 meters high emerge from the canopy with dense undergrowth beneath. Low scrubby vegetation grows on rocky outcrops and plants even survive on steep rock faces. A number of rarities have been discovered here, including this distinctive cycad, found nowhere else in Sabah. Caves high up on the cliffs are home to thousands of swifts and bats. Another important habitat and sanctuary for wildlife is down by the water's edge, where mangrove forms a narrow fringe along parts of the coastline. The mudskipper, like many of the mangrove animals, is quite happy either in or out of the water. But other fish, such as this goby, always stay submerged. Mangrove is an important breeding and nursery habitat for some of the fish that live their adult life out in open water or on the reefs. The young grow up here in the shelter of the mangrove roots, away from predators. One of the reasons for establishing the park is to protect the diversity of marine life and habitats for which the site is famous. Between the mangrove and the outer reef are extensive shallow lagoons and seagrass beds where strange and beautiful animals can be found. Out on the reef itself, it is the shallow areas that have the most prolific and colourful corals and dense swarms of small fish. The reef drops away to depths of up to 50 metres, 
and its slopes are home to an incredible diversity of marine life, from huge sponges to tiny sea slugs. In deeper water, there are fewer reef-building corals, but many black corals, sea fans, sea whips, sea pens, and beautiful soft corals. Over 650 species of fish, and 250 species of reef corals have been discovered in the Tumsakaran Marine Park, giving the site special conservation status and value. But this quiet and peaceful place is under threat. What happens next shatters more than just the silence. This is fishing with explosives, and this is the result. Bombs going off day after day and year after year have caused damage from which the reefs may never fully recover. Fish blasting is illegal, but the fishermen act quickly and then disappear. Using nets on the reef is also against the law because of the damage they cause. 